after you submit your cropped picture of a succulent, I'm going to print them onto this grid. So the grid has the dividing lines already made for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, by one, two, three, four, five. Um, it doesn't matter how you hold it. Um, so you don't have to do measuring on this, but you are going to um, use your ruler and connect those lines. Um, once you do that, uh, I'm going to recommend that you label the short side with letters A through E and the long side with numbers. And again, you're going to be doing this on black paper, but just so you can see it better, I'm going to continue on the white paper. Um, and you're going to do the same thing. Um, ignore this little tiny box. That's nothing. That's just like an extra. But this is going to be A, B, C, D, E, and this side will be numbers. And then you can go um, box by box and draw what you see. You're going to focus on the outside of each petal, the outlines of each petal. Don't worry yet about the shadows or the shading inside of the petals. Really focus on the outlines of them. Now mine, um, you can see the main ones. Um, I can choose to also include what sort of the background ones or I can decide those are background and I'll make those a different color that contrasts. That's up to you. If you have something in the background that's distracting, you can, as the artist, choose to um, kind of make that simplified and just be a flat background color, or you can choose to include it and draw it. That is really up to you. Um, I'm gonna choose to kind of ignore it. And if I ignore it, then this box has nothing in it. This box here. B1, draw what I see, see how much of the box it takes up, Pedal goes to there, draw lightly so you can erase it, it's about halfway, okay. then you go box by box and just continue. Um, the grid helps break it down into smaller pieces. So C1, this goes almost to the edge. Okay, that's really all that's in that box. And you keep going box by box. Another way you can do it if you have one longer piece that goes across many boxes is you can plot out the points of it. For example, this line starts in A2, it starts there, it goes basically right to that corner, uh, it goes down between B and C about halfway, and it goes about a quarter of the way up here before it ends about right here. So because I mapped that out, then I can look at the shapes from each box and I can draw that line all together. So you can do it box by box or as um, lines at a time. Once you're finished, um, go back over and kind of go section by section. Make sure you didn't miss anything. Uh, notice how it really is the basic shapes of it. 
Oh, I did miss a little thing there. Um, so you're gonna kind of make sure that it is a, uh, that you've included all the pieces, that you have all the details you want, um, fix any mistakes. It doesn't have to be totally perfect because um, a succulent is a plant and plants are somewhat irregular. So if you know, a leaf goes a little bit sideways as opposed to straight, no one's gonna ever really care. Um, but you wanna mostly just uh, follow this to fill the space properly. Um, and so that when we shade, we know where to put the colors.